In 2015, Gwanda Green Fund for Nirgwa invested uh, more than 200,000 US dollars to support country to transition to low carbon construction material. The fund invested in zero carbon design to develop a research on low carbon material for construction in Rwanda. Zero Carbon Designs conducted the research and focus groups to create a model of housing that is affordable and suit Rwandans. This investment allowed Zero Carbon Designs to construct demonstration housing units to show the potential of green building in Rwanda. Zero Carbon Designs patterned with uh, Stratec to demonstrate low carbon housing materials. Our material is basically made from uh, what we call bio waste. So this is bio waste from wheat straw and from rice straw. So after they harvest this, the material that's left would be used maybe for fertilizer or maybe for feeding cattle, but up, up to 70% of this is uh, basically thrown. So what we do is we organize the farmers and we collect this material and that is what we use to process our straw board. Aka kamashini mosi chamita akanga aka niko dukoresha mu kupima ubuhere bw'ibyatsi. Babona ko nakintu kari kubara ariko iyo mbashe ukinjizamo n'imbere. Ibiri munsi ya 15 niyo kanite twa dushaka ibyatsi ya matiere premier zacu. Iyo biri hejeje 15 icyo gihe tubwira abahinzi bakaba bakongera bakanika noneho uko gasoka mu mashini bapima 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 babona ibyatsi byumye bakabwira ati muzinge ntakibuze. This is an example of private sector getting on board to utilize environmentally friendly product like straw board. A lot of times just before planting for the new season, many farmers used to take this bio waste and burn it. You can imagine the pollution that comes out from all the smoke and the other pollutants that goes into the air. You to use zero carbon, no one the has why it's environmentally friendly is that the product has a sort of like cooling effect. It handles temperature change very well and it reduces the need for using air conditioning and that kind of thing. So you're using less electricity and that actually is a very good benefit environmentally. Trowboard uses less accessories than other materials. So this makes it easy to handle by a locally trained uh, technician. If you know the water, you can use the water to use the water to use the water to use the the water to use 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 the the has a fire resistance of up to 30 minutes. It's rated F30. People usually wonder how this happens. It's because the, the straw is actually compacted and most of the oxygen is driven out. At full production in a year, we would be using close to $1 million of this straw. And you can imagine this was something that was, this is, these are funds that were not really available to the farmers but they now receive this money. And there's also the transporters who bring these materials to the factory. So you can see at the community level, there are really gains. The government gains because all this foreign exchange that was going out there now remains in the country. Our factory is first of all fully operational with 55 people permanently employed. But during a project, um, and we have one big one that we're currently undertaking, we are going to hire up to probably another six to 700 people over about uh, seven to eight months. <laughs>
kagura se nk'ikibanza nk'inka se byo ngibyo ni ibintu bwo bishoboka mu kazi kacu dukora this Rwanda Green Fund investment demonstrates the power of research partnership and involving the private sector to develop sustainable projects that foster green growth and transformational change.